everyone, this is Neil Narn. We're once again in Red Dead Redemption. But it's the first Red Dead Redemption. Yes, that's right. We've now got to be able to play the old PS3 game remastered with better graphics. That should be fun. Let's let's hit that uh, like button. While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go into playing the game. Go ahead and create a new save source. And get me some sound going here when it comes on. Everybody coming off the ship. Oh, there's our character. I saw him walking. There's Marshall. And you remember, Red Dead Redemption 2 ended as the prelude to this one. Extra! Extra! Health benefits of smoking! Extra! Extra! Read all about... Hey, watch it, mister! Read all about it! Bill Williamson's gang terrorizes New Austin! Extra! Extra! Pinkerton Boys. Push me, brother. I'll kick your butt. That's that look you gave. Been so long I forgot how this started. On the train he goes back to the town where he lost his family at. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, of how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Yeah, yeah. But I just wrong you, thinking. Unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. I always hate people who push those things on other people. Let everybody live the way they like to live. As long as they're not hurting you, not it's okay. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. <laughs> no, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Yeah, he jumped it off a cliff. That's the easiest way to get a car to fly. It only flies where about 10 apparently, minutes, 10 seconds, whatever. It depends how big the cliff is. Run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. <laughs> I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, Can't have that. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Oh, that's a little dig there. Yep, yep. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. 
and the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, yeah, but then you don't so let everybody worship the way they want. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Way out in the middle of Armadillo. And here we are, we're back in the old station. Oh, it's so good to be back in this old time game. And it looks good. They did a good job so far from what I can tell. Still a little stiff on movements, but hey, what you just upgrading the original engine. You're gonna have a little little bit of that, but it looks good. Oh we can run. And that's where we need to go, the old saloon. We had too many sarsaparillas, buddy? Yeah, watch out. Don't fall on a cow patty. Or a horse patty. Hey, I just want a cold drink. Mr. Marfin, over here. Hey, don't yell my name out loud. Come on now. I'm incognito. You must be John Marfin. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. Hey, my friends. But pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. What, I don't get a drink first? Come on, man. Jeez, no fun there. You still haven't made it across the street, boy? Man, you've had way too many. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Hey, Snow Biscuit. Let's go for a ride. Take it easy until That's we're your name, now. Snow Biscuit. Ain't no point in causing a rush. Let's go! Ooh, there. I guess we can't go through the train. Train. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up Hold to the Hold the aid to match the speed. Time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit. If you don't mind, Miss Van. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Cool. It's a little issue with the galloping, but it's not bad. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married <laughs> man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love the Wild West. been so long since I've played. If they yeah. add anything new, I'm well, not sure if I'll be able to recognize it. So if Lee you do Johnson, see something, do you throw a comment about it. Heard his name. Let Said me know that, hey, that's a new area. Big bugs asking oh, for that's a, a new item, or I that's a new function. That's right. I do remember this path, though. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. 
There's things you better off not knowing. Stop hogging the trail. Get on your side. Thank you. Damn coyotes! What a waste of good meat! Almost there, Mr. Marshall. Just over this hill. Oh, to go hunting again. That'll be fun. Fort Mercer. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. Mm. <laughs> Let's see if our buddy old pal will come out and say hi. Come on, Bill. Bill, I've come for you. Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Just want to say hi. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. Well, you are. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me? Yes, I implore you. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! Yeah, but you're an idiot. No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Oh. Yep. I remember that happening. Never a good day. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Come to rescue my poor sorry soul. Don't put down the gun. Grab my pistol while you're there. I know it was down on the ground somewhere. Thank you, ma'am. You saved me. New friends, old problems. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. <laughs> what were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. 
He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. There it is. Gotta have the old hat. And, uh... What will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Yep. I'll bear that in mind. Dutch was the only one that could control him. You know you can't. You and him always were, uh, not well. So we gotta go join Bon, Bonnie. Well, we can duck, run with the A button. Gotta remember that. Anything good to drop? How you doing, ma'am? How you doing? You got any good vittles? No talking? Okay, I'll, I'll stay away. We'll just go with the quest. I don't think there was a whole lot to loot until after the tutorial. I could be wrong, but... Oh yeah, this being back in this place is nostalgic. Yeah, your, your side hurts a little bit, buddy. Took a Nice little rifle shot right to the ribs. Oh, Mr. Luckily Marston, didn't. back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Oh, sorry. Let me get out of your way there, ma'am. Oh, yeah, go ahead. You go first. Go on. Uh, a little tight on the ribs, isn't it? There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. First, Pop on up. She won't where's Biscuit at? Giddy up! Uh, we'll take Black Beauty here. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Yeah, matching speed. Being black here is going to town. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Oh, it's a small town. Hello. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Well, I won't discount That's that. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. 
That's the barn, okay. That a short run here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit the X button. Sorry, sorry, I was hitching my horse. Didn't do that. I'm coming. Got some, got some lemonade. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Take a load off there. Oh, you took a nap. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is Better a fine way. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. I'd love to ride out on a, a farm land like we this. We best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Granted, you can't find them like this anymore, but it'll be it'll be cool. Riding horses and riding right. on the range would be cool. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Nice big night sky. Thank Ooh, you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier if someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Beautiful countryside. A few reasons why I'd love to move to Wyoming other than the cold weather. The open prairies out in Wyoming, because there's hardly anybody there, would be awesome. God Damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. What's wrong with a few rabbits? Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Nice shooting. That did kill those little varmints. Make some rabbit stew out of all these. for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Putting some more ammo in we here. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. Easy now. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. What's the fun in that? Come Who on, needs boys. a big city? Damn coyotes are back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston. Damn coyotes! Tried, but didn't quite get into the snuff so, of them. 
You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Get your horse back up to the, the old stampede Thank you for here. Help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. There we go. This is our place for saving our game. Oops. We got her place to put extra ammo and other stuff. So we got a good save. We got some good fame. And there we go. We'll go ahead and sleep. And while we're sleeping. Get a save. There we go. So we will continue this on the next episode. Make sure I got everything done. Oh so yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, uh, we'll go back and talk to Bar Bonnie here on the next episode. But I hope you enjoyed the first rendition of Red Dead 1. So with that, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.